With the increasing number of scam victims in Singapore, three local banks, DBS, OCBC, and UOB, have announced new money locking features where your funds can only be unlocked after you have visited the bank branches in person to verify your identity. So, I'm going to compare what are the different features that they offer so you can decide which one works for you. But first of all, what is money lock feature? This is basically a feature to indicate to the bank that a certain portion of your money should not be accessible online anymore. Think of it as a virtual safe or biscuit tin but safer. Once your funds are in this account, they are locked and you have to physically come to the bank and verify your identity before you can take or transfer the money. Interestingly, the three banks that have started to offer a money lock feature do it in different ways. Let's start by reviewing what DBS has to offer. The DBS version of Money Lock account is called Digifault. This will be a separate account from your existing bank accounts. For that Digifault account, you can transfer in or deposit money to that account online, but you won't be able to transfer out any money online. You'll have to visit one of the bank branches to verify your identity. If you happen to be overseas and you really want to unlock the funds for some reason, you can still contact the bank's customer service and they will verify your identity before assisting you further. By the way, DBS also allows you to lock your fixed deposits where digital premature withdrawal and changing of maturity instructions will be blocked. If your maturity instruction is to withdraw principal and interest, only the interest will be credited to the designated account. The principal amount will be renewed at the prevailing board rates upon maturity. You can request to lock your fixed deposit account via the chatbot Digibot on the bottom right of your screen and type fixed deposit lock. DBS will process the request within two working days and you will receive an email notification once successful. To apply for Digifault, you can do this online via the Digibank app. Tap on the More tab, then select Digifault under Apply. Just follow the steps in the app and the approval process usually takes under a minute. Interestingly, you can only apply for Digifault from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. daily. I'm guessing that's because it requires a human to review and approve your application. Once approved, you can start to deposit the funds you want to lock. There is no minimum sum for the Digifault account and each DBS or POSB customer can have up to 5 Digifault accounts. Why 5? I don't know, I'm just telling you what their policy is. If you are wondering what is the interest rate for the Digifault account, DBS is currently running a promotion until the end of February 2024 where Digifault users are eligible for a promotional 1.8% per annum on their average daily balance for a maximum of $50,000. And if you have multiple Digifault accounts, the 1.8% interest rate is only applicable to one Digifault account. Account. After the promotional period ends though, I don't know what the interest rate will be. I wasn't able to find it on their website but please comment down below if you know the answer. Next, let's talk about UOB. The version of money lock feature is called UOB Lock Away. This feature also restricts digital payments and outbound transfers. This will also be a separate account on top of your existing UOB accounts. The selling feature that they are highlighting for UOB Lock Away, on top of being able to deposit funds to it digitally, you will also be able to check the balance online. However, withdrawing funds from this locked up account requires a visit to UOB branch for identity verification. UOB also does not issue checkbooks for the Lock Away account and existing cards cannot be linked to it. When this video is recorded, ATM withdrawal is not allowed but UOB said that they are evaluating whether that can be introduced in the future. If you are going overseas though, UOB doesn't allow you to unlock the funds from abroad. So that's something to consider especially if you are planning to live overseas or for an extended period of time. To apply for Lockaway accounts, you can do so via internet banking, UOB app, or by visiting one of the UOB branches. Typically, approval can be done within the same day and there's no minimum amount of money you need to keep in the account. Regarding interest rates, currently, 
they have a promotion until the end of March where you can earn a promotional interest rate up to 5% per annum for deposits up to $125,000. As you can see on the table, the interest rate is still depending on how much money you put inside. They are also being upfront about what the interest rate will be after the promotion period is over. Last but not least, let's talk about the OCBC Money Lock version called OCBC Money Lock. Unlike DBS and UOB, OCBC allows customers to lock up a certain amount within their existing account. You don't have to open a separate account. This will mean that the interest rate will be exactly the same as your existing account. To apply, you simply need to register via their app or internet banking. There is one catch though. You can only lock up funds in increment of $10. For example, $10, $20, $50, etc. but not $11. There's no maximum limit set, but the minimum deposit you need to have to keep in this money lock feature is $10. Interestingly, OCBC makes it slightly more convenient for the customer to unlock their funds because if you don't want to bother queuing in OCBC bank branches, you can just unlock it via an ATM. You can also withdraw the lockup funds via ATM. To make withdrawal via ATM, customers will require their credit or debit card along with their PIN. If you happen to be overseas, OCBC allows you to unlock the funds by submitting a request via the OCBC secured mailbox on their app or internet banking. Within 4 working days, an OCBC representative will reach out to you to verify your identity before releasing your funds. So which one is the best? If I summarize the three bank's money lock features side by side, it looks like this. Specifically, looking at the money lock features, I personally think OCBC is the winner here. Unless you want to take advantage of the promotional interest rate at UOB or DBS. I'm sure you know that the queue at the banks in Singapore can get really long, like 2 or 3 hours long or even more. So it is a game changer if you can simply unlock the funds via an ATM. Statistically, most malware scams are performed by overseas scammers anyway, so personally, I like the idea of still being able to access your locked up money via ATM but not via online banking. In case you are wondering whether the money lock accounts are protected under SDIC, the answer is yes, but the coverage is per depositor per bank regardless of different bank accounts you have. Currently, the cap is $75,000, but it will be increased to $100,000 in April. So for example, if you have $50,000 in DBS multiplier account and another $200,000 in the Digifault account, that's a total of $250,000, right? So the SDIC only insured up to the max amount, which is $75,000 or $100,000, depending on when you are watching this video. So if you are blessed to have a lot of money, I would highly recommend you to split your money in different banks. Another misconception is that SDIC insures your money against scam. It does not. By definition, on their website, they stated that the scheme has been set up to protect savings in the event a full bank or finance company fails, not if you get scammed. I do want to point out that this money lock feature doesn't mean you can let your guard down. Nowadays, there are different types of scams beyond malware scams. It could be a love scam, investment scam, loan scam, and many more, where the victims are persuaded and manipulated to hand over their money to the scammers. So for such scams, this money lock feature wouldn't help. Don't forget to check out my channel for other tips related to Singapore, and I'll see you on my next video. Bye-bye!